Hey everyone, I'm Ari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City of Abilene, and I'm here with Vincent Cantu. He is Emergency Management Coordinator for the City of Abilene. Thanks for being with us, Vincent. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, we want to talk about getting ready for winter weather, severe weather prep, because um, of course heading to spring, you know, there's, <laughs> there's that tornado season as well to think about beyond yeah. that. Um, and then just kind of review um, how to be best prepared to, to get information, the best information, and also um, obviously, if we are in an event where we may have a power out again, mm -hmm. um, but you know there was that little event last year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Snow bit of twenty one mm -hmm. here, and just about at our, our year anniversary. So tell us a little bit about what's happened since then, and um, what you've done, and other folks across the city to to learn and be more prepared here this year. Sure. So the 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 winter weather event twenty twenty one February that was that was a bit of a surprise to us, right? And a lot of us we we didn't really think that there would uh, uh, be an opportunity or, or chance for all of Texas uh, grid, to, grid to fail. So right. um, there were a lot of unseen challenges and we were able to address you know, a lot of gaps and we learned a lot. So I think a lot of things, some, some things have changed. I think one is the, uh, I think folks just understand maybe a little bit more uh, how yes. fragile some things could be, yeah. infrastructure and all. Uh, so, you know, a after after the winter weather event, we kind of got everyone together in a room and we did uh, some of an analysis yeah. of what happened. So you were there. Yes. Uh, it's an after action report. Uh, got everyone together and said, hey, you know, these are the things that uh, really worked and these are, you know, where our strengths are. And there are also some things that um, didn't go so well and that we need to work on. And I think, you know, that's just not just Abilene, but there were many places across yeah. the state, you know, uh, wouldn't be a disaster if we were prepared for these things. Yeah. So obviously um, there, there are some things to prepare for. But and so much was beyond any of our control. Yeah, you know, yeah it, absolutely. Obviously the power going out was a statewide yeah. issue. Uh, yeah. And so, but like you're saying, that definitely revealed some holes and places where we can be prepared, even if it is out of our control. Sure, sure. So if, if you if you assume that everything's going to be there when you need it, uh, infrastructure, if your your water's going to be there when you when you turn the faucet or uh, when you flip the switch, your lights are going to come on. You know, it's you're, you just become accustomed to that. Yeah. But now that you know that stuff can go away, it kind of you know places some impetus in you to say, hey, well maybe we need to uh, practice some uh, personal preparedness too. But also as a city government, I think there's some messaging that we can push. Uh, to say, hey, you know, um, um, here's here's some best practices for you, and uh, it really, like I said, it, it it offered an opportunity to to look at ourselves and say, hey, well, if uh, some of this stuff might not be as dependable as, as we thought, uh, you know, there's some things that we can do to make sure that the lights uh, stay on yeah. maybe a little longer, or or that water keeps flowing. So, yeah. Um, and yeah. with that, I mean, first and foremost, you may have caught some of the presentations to City Council here throughout the year, but yeah. um, your department, water, y'all are all working on um, securing generated generator power right, to right. keep things going. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that's that's the plan. Uh, you know, after that, after action review, uh, uh, again, placing placing an importance on on keeping things going, especially for critical infrastructure like water uh, and emergency services. So, uh, worked with our uh, fire department, police department, our deputy and I, uh, Nate Lester. We've 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 kind of looked at these things and said, um, our certain fire stations need generator power. Our water system needs that generator power to be able to to uh, keep things going. Uh, we're also looking at uh, potentially some. Uh, uh, other facilities within the city that we can have a multi-use purpose with, yeah. kind of uh, to see if, if we do need to depend on ourselves to to send some folks there to get warm yes. or you know have a warming center or shelter. Uh, that's that's kind of in the plan. So um, you know trying to trying, trying to cover all of our bases yeah. uh, for the for the biggest issues that we had during yeah. the winter storm. And of course you know none of this is foolproof. We get these generators, we get everything uh, going like we we want it to. There's still always this there's there's always this gap that that could exist. So uh, you know, nothing's perfect, but again, that's where personal preparedness comes in by, you know, you want to build a kit, you want to make a plan, yes. and you just generally want to be prepared. Uh, you know, building your kit can consist, especially during the winter, of uh, having just a, like a, maybe a, a heat pack, those hand warmers, yeah. which was really important when we were down in the emergency operations yeah. center for all those days. Just having a little bit of warmth, you know, really made a difference. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, uh, keeping some food, some some uh, water, some medical supplies, whatever whatever you need, uh, maybe uh, even a map of the city in in your in your right. uh, preparedness kit. Yeah, and then those are some best practices. Yeah, well, your phone is now dead. The yeah. battery's dead. And keep your keep your phone charged. I need a paper map. Exactly, exactly. You know, and keep those phones charged too, because uh, you know, I, and I'm I'm a I'm a big offender when it comes to that. I'm, I'll leave my phone in the office all day, and yeah. where I could have it charging, you know, uh, something goes down, and we we can't. Uh, um, uh, depend on those yeah. phones, you know, it's, it, 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 it's, a, it's, it's a big lifeline because 
Uh, I know that uh, during the winter storm, you know, a lot of folks, we, we set out a number and said, hey, call this number if you need water, food, or you know, evacuation to the shelters that we had set up. And uh, we, we, got, think we got to a point in time that it was like, hey, well, these folks, you know, we've been without power this long. Yeah. They're, they're not going to be able to call us. So yes. it just it, it put another level of uh, angst on us to say, hey, you know, I wonder how many people are actually still in their homes or that need help that just can't get to us. Yeah. So um, also that's where checking with your neighbors come in, right? Just right. making sure that uh, the folks around you are okay. So that's something that um, I think uh, we can do a little better of is just checking yeah. on our neighbors. Yeah, that yeah. drove home that message for us. Yep. And, and then as you're putting these kits together, I mean, that was sort of, I guess, the blessing of that week is that <laughs> we've now been through that scenario and it really helps us jog our, our our brains a little bit more thinking about what do I need you yeah. know you, you we've been through that experience mm -hmm. um, I know for especially on my side since it's, it's my wheelhouse with uh, getting out information yeah. um, it was also a, a good time to see how confusing it can get you cannot I mean we're putting things out in social media and our mm -hmm. website first mm -hmm. first and foremost and then social media but social media can get pretty um, confusing because with those algorithms changing, just because we put something out at 10.01 a.m. doesn't mean it's hitting everyone's news feeds at 10.01. Right. Yeah. Who knows when you're getting that information and then there might be updated information yeah. since then. Yeah. And so um, I know I'm, I'm working here in these next few weeks especially to really put out um, clear information on where you, sh where and what you should be relying on mm -hmm. for those updates. So mm -hmm. you guys have the code red yep. on your side, which is very helpful and it's easy to sign up for. Right. So you can go to the city website, go to sign up for, and there's there will be a code red link there. But uh, uh, something new that we also have is uh, texting A B I T A Y T X to nine nine four one one. Maybe we can get that on the, on yeah, the screen absolutely. there for folks. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, but nine nine four one one. It's just a text to enroll feature, so it takes us in kind of the next. Uh, next generation where you know, yeah. we can just kind of text and make it more convenient to folks. So it's just, a, it'll send you a direct link and you can get signed up there. So uh, super convenient. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we work through that channel to mm -hmm. get to get messages out. Yeah. And then the other place, um, and this, because we went through this this week last year, um, I found that really the best place is to, to post information is our website and we have an alert bar. Yeah. Um, of course, it's been occupied by COVID information for a while, but we, right. we, we put up that alert bar on the top of the website mm -hmm. And that's too becomes a running feed of updates that you know, okay, if I go to abilenetx.gov and just check out there at the top of the homepage, you will, you will click on that bar and then you'll know you have the latest info and not have to worry about, you know, when did I get this or that. So doing those two things, Code Red, and if you can sign up for alerts from the, from the website yeah. or just know to go to abilenetx.gov, that will be... At least we got information going out. Absolutely, absolutely, and and you know, and before I think it's also it's also important to have a communications plan. Uh, work on work on your plan. That communications plan is all to say, you know, where are we going to get all that information from? But also, how are we going to uh, uh, talk to each other? You know, between between family members or friends yeah. to say, hey, you know, so we know that this is this is the emergency. This is what we got to deal with. But how do we how do we make sure that everyone in the house or everyone uh, of our friends, you know, that know about you know, what's going on or maybe where to find us if they're if they're concerned about us? Because again, I mean, we had folks calling us in the EOC wondering yeah. about where their friends were, how people were doing, yeah. and uh, you know, it's 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 a good it's a good thing to plan ahead and and start thinking about those things. But and in addition, we have tons of, of resources on the City of Abilene uh, emergency management website that folks yeah. can take advantage of, yeah. uh, you know, with links to ready.gov, uh, uh, Red Cross, and, and other resources that folks can, you know, you can find templates for not only yourself and your family, but uh, for for your business, you know, continuity plans, things like that. So it's, I mean, it's just... Uh, it, it's the, the information's there. If you yes, need it. you can yeah. walk work through it one weekend maybe and kind of get your little, like you said, get yeah. your kit prepped and just just check off some of those items. But again, so that's abilingtx.gov, and yep. I believe you go slash EOC. Right, right. You'll that, get that right quick link. to yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's a nice sort of uh, big search bar right there as you get to the website, and yeah. so just you know just search it up and it should come up for you. Yeah, all kinds of resources. Yeah. For sure. All right. Well, sure. here's to a, a boring, calm winter and spring for you don't jinx us yeah I yeah I, I hope so you know it's 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 you know we've had a tornado we've had the uh yeah the the uh, uh covid to deal with yes. and, and you know we've got our uh winter weather events so it's just uh you know we know it's coming so uh -huh. folks should you know take heed yes right yeah. calm nothing's it's gonna be fine. yeah we'll be good yeah thank you vincent yeah <laughs> thank you and always go get more information sign up for news alerts too at abilenetx.gov